what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel tonight today this afternoon we're going to be talking about something real quick and short about the new recall that just came out for our super duties this is 21 s 26 i've seen a lot of guys talk about this on facebook already and i have drawn some concern as if this is going to be applying to their truck now it says in here certain 2021 model vehicles that were built at the Kentucky or the Ohio assembly truck plant, plant built through those dates. Uh, it says the reason for this safety recall and some of the affected vehicles, the front wheel hub extension nuts may not be tightened to specification. Insufficiently tightened front wheel hub extension nuts may cause vibration and noise while driving and may result in front wheel and wheel hub extension detachment from the vehicle, increasing the risk of an injury or crash. So going through the dealer bulletin of the uh, recall notice, uh, it's got some information about mobile inspections and if the customer is going to be uh, doing that as well uh, it's talking about make sure to do this to all of the sold units prior to delivery this is a do not drive um, right on the front of it do not drive vehicles so this is something a safety safety concern um, so we're gonna go into the technical side this is what we're gonna be looking at it wants us to position the vehicle on the hoist Remove the front wheel and tire assemblies, and it wants us to check all of these nuts that hold the hub extension to the actual rotor. Now, if you had a 450 and 550, you will have this adapter. My truck does not have that adapter. This is all I have right here. So for you guys that have the 450 and 550s, uh, you might want to look into having this recall done and make sure that they are tightened to 130 foot-pounds. Now, if you had an F350, your front end is still gonna be like mine with the hubs and just the rotor, but if you had the 550 and 450 and 550, you'd have this uh, adapter plate on here. So this is the reason for the recall. These nuts are apparently not being tightened to specification on certain trucks. Now, going further, um, it actually has a mobile service repair, so we can actually go out to your place of business or your house and actually perform this recall uh, at no charge to you or if you are in a situation that does not allow that to happen, you can also have the ability, where is it, to have the customer perform this repair. And that procedure has its own set of instructions. It's gonna tell you uh, where to lift the vehicle up, uh, just as it did with us, and again, the same steps with tightening making sure that these are torqued to 130 foot pounds then it goes on to talk about uh, when reinstalling the wheel um, to make sure that we have no corrosion built up between uh, the mounting surface we want to make sure we have that nice flush contact and then uh, if we need to apply a thin coat of NACs on the wheel hub pilot surface only on the wheel uh, to help uh, in installation um, but that is about it, everybody. We wanna make sure to go back and retighten our wheel nuts uh, after driving 100 miles. Uh, always gotta keep that in mind when we're tor tightening and torquing uh, aluminum wheels. Again, this is gonna be subject to another video tonight uh, regarding one of the best trucks, vehicle lines on the road, the Super Duty. Make sure to tune in tonight, 8.45 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Tell me what you guys think about this video if you are gonna fall on this criteria of making sure your F450 or 550 certain build in 2021 trucks are gonna fall under this new recall 21S26. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Remember to like, comment, sub, share, and I'll catch you guys tonight. See you.